Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another deaf film tutorial. This is episode two, my name is Robert, and today I will be showing you how to do proxies in Premiere Pro and Media Encoder. So basically what proxies are is they are a low quality version of video files and make it easier to edit on lower tier machines such as like MacBooks or even some Windows laptops that aren't optimized for 4K editing. I use this all the time on my MacBook Pro because my MacBook Pro, I haven't bought Final Cut Pro on it, so I edit with Premiere and it can't handle 4K footage. So we're gonna take a 4K clip here from a thing that I had. And it's actually Xander sitting down for an interview. And what we're gonna do here is that you can right click the clip or if it is in a folder, you can right click the folder, but you right click the clip, you go down to proxy and you go to create proxies. The proxy window will open up and here you have a bunch of presets uh, you can either use like H.264, like the MP4, or QuickTime. And you can go down to preset and use the different resolutions they have. I usually do 1280 by 720 though it doesn't matter. Right down here you can see destination where you choose the destination folder. It'll make a proxy folder next to your original media or you can select a certain folder. I'm going to select um, this folder and I'll open up a new one called proxies. Once you press OK, it'll say creating proxy jobs. And what that's doing is that if you don't already have Media Encoder CC or whatever version you have open, it'll open that and then automatically add the clip. It looks like our render is finished. So if we go back into Premiere, you don't need to import or anything because it knows that the proxy has been attached. The way you can double check this is that you go to this top overview here and go to metadata display, click the first drop down arrow and go down to proxy or what I'll do for this certain tutorials, I'll disable all of them and only enable proxy. Press OK and you'll see that it is attached. If it wasn't attached, it would say not attached or something else like that. If we go back into our little timeline here, you probably won't notice anything different and you might not even have the proxies enabled. To do that, you'll have to press this plus sign. Uh, this little icon here is toggle proxy, so you're gonna take that, you're gonna drag it down onto the window, press OK. If it is blue, that means the proxies are already on and you're editing using 720 footage right now. If it's gray, that means it's not. So to make sure that you are editing smoothly, I mean, you'll notice it, but to make sure, press, press that until it is blue. No need to untoggle it when you go to render it because Premiere Pro will automatically recognize that you were using proxies and it'll switch back to the original media when you render it. So I hope this was useful. I use it a lot personally and I feel like it could be very useful for someone who doesn't have a expensive computer and can't edit 4K footage or even some 1080p footage, but they really want to edit their videos. So make sure to check the description below. I might put some extra info down there, maybe even a written tutorial. I also have our updated social media links and some of our merchandise on TeePublic. If you check that out, see you around.